just having a smoke on my way to work. Down through the woods. I'm so lucky that way. I walk to work. It's just too close to drive. So, uh, Jeff Gilbert in Missouri. Misery, as we used to call it in Colorado. Sorry, Jeff. Sent me some really nice burned down red and orange. Matured Vir Virginia flavored with Orientals. Wow, it's nice. This is five or six years old, so it's it's uh, mellowed a bit probably. how the Virginia comes through and yet you can also taste the Oriental. A lot of times these mixtures are just this kind of mashup with uh, not a lot of distinctive flavor but of each but uh, they can be really nice but uh, this is unusual in that you can really taste the individual elements going on there. in an old BP jump, probably from the 50s. And then I, I did the uh, vinyl bit, sort of a chomp cover. Ah. Thanks again, Mike. Flieger, 671. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is good. It's, uh, Kind of, oh, you won't be able to see this probably. Light and dark mix. Uh, nice ribbon cut. Burns great. Really nice stuff. Thank you, Jeff. Kind of a windy day here. They were saying uh, hurricane strength out on the coast. <laughs> we don't get that very often. Sometimes these shallow, wide, wide bold pipes like these jums. I love the look, but they don't burn as well sometimes. Uh, you know, they don't burn as evenly. But this tobacco, of course, is kind of windy, and that fuels the fire. But, uh... Oh, it's good burning stuff. Surprisingly light. I was thinking it'd be pretty heavy. But, uh, yeah, it's got some good flavor. Kind of caramelly. Uh, the usual Virginia starts out kind of light and then darkens, deepens, and uh, thickens kind of as it gets towards the bottom of the bowl.